So this part of my room is the first part, which is the back of the door. Um, I honestly just keep like my two robes here and my little bag. I am trying to transition into purses, but for now, this works and it is yet to fail me. Then let's move you guys over here. So this part is the desk area. You know, just your basics, chair, computer, extra storage, and my little knickknacks and stuff. Um, the cameras are from a thrift shop, I believe. I mean, not a thrift shop. What is it? Flea market. The cameras are from flea markets. The little cacti from a local nursery. Books are from Barnes and Nobles. I really love pillow thoughts. I think they're a great poetry book to read. Or poetry pair to read. Um, the little bookends are from Home Goods, and I think that's pretty much everything up there. Um, then in here, I just have some textbooks. We're not gonna go in there because it's messy. Over here, extra pens. Again, messy. We're gonna leave that how it is. So then coming down here, I just have um, some headphones for when you know I just want my quiet time and I don't want to hear anybody else. Back there is um, a Galileo thermostat, I think. Then down here we have um, my speakers and then glasses with the blue tint, I believe, which are good to have on at night when you're at your computer because it makes your eyes hurt less. Then, uh, you know, keyboard, mouse pad, mouse. Um, that is a Venus sculpture without her head. And I just have a little air plant in there. I thought that was kind of cute and then I have a fan because where I am it gets really hot in the summer and humid so that is vital when at my desk <laughs> then I just have my little speaker and I have this like mid-century chair to tie that all together and I know that the legs and the desk are not the same tone and as you'll see a lot of my wood pieces in here are not obviously my favorite spot in my room um so yeah, let's break it down. Blanket, home goods, duvet cover, Urban Outfitters, sheets I got from Anthropology, which I just think this color pairs so nice with this green, like the contrast. And it's just like little sunray beam things with um, like a really light baby pink. And I got this pillow from Target to match the little pink sun. This part, Obviously, I've outdid myself. Um, I just hate spaces that feel like a, you know, museum. I want my space to feel lived in, so hence the reason for all of these. So starting over here, you know, we've just got like some Ferris Bueller, some Renaissance art. Um, those are just personal Polaroids, you know, me and my friends. Um, Star Wars, Star Wars, Grand Canyon, Harry Potter, Stand By Me, Prince, like, come on now. Um, a little Harry Styles homage, San Francisco, one of my favorite cities. We've got The Wallows, Breakfast Club, you know, Back to the Future, RDJ, Aerosmith, Goonies, Indiana Jones. <laughs> it just, like, it keeps going, you know. It's just got all my interests, movies, artists, places, just anything that I like is on this wall. Then over here is my nightstand. Um, we've just got an old vintage mid-century lamp that actually still works, so that's pretty cool. Then um, this is an homage to Drake <laughs> that I made um, my senior year of high school. Then um, we've got Billie Eilish on the cover of Vogue magazine, my Apple Watch, which I've been getting into like health and fitness, and I brought out my old Apple Watch, and it's been pretty handy. Glasses, I believe, are from Target. This is probably from Home Goods. We've got Alexa over here. Oh, there she goes. Um, this little agate candle, which you fill up. And here there's a little reservoir and then you light the top of it and it's a candle um, Then we have Lord of the Rings. I you know love Lord of the Rings my you know Schmeagle the whole vibe 
that's that. And I just keep my chargers over here. Then I have this little basket, also from Home Goods. A lot of the stuff that I have in my room is probably Home Goods. Um, just a basket full of like my blankets and stuff that I keep. Then I've got the Buddha prayer flags, you know, that's a whole mood. And then I have a little Jeep to match my big Jeep, which you can probably see out there. Um, my brother got this, I think, around Christmas or something, just like a little funny gift. And then I have this little shell, which used to be one of those, um, what are they called? Wind chimes, the little wind chimes, but it like broke and stuff. So I just have a little air plant in it and it works. Moving over to this part. Oh, focus. Part of my room. I'm, oh, I'm watching the Truman Show. I should probably change this. Okay, back to room tour. So up here I have my little plant, which I've had this for I believe a year and a half. And it has gotten so long that it is now hanging in front of my TV and behind my TV. But I love it and I believe it is a pathos plant, which is... Everyone knows it. It's that one house plant that if you suck at keeping things alive is the go-to because this thing is resilient. It will not die. Not that I'm intentionally trying to kill it, but it's really resilient. So yeah, I recommend if you want some plants in your room, but you always kill them. Okay, moving on. We've got my little gallery wall. Now, this is something that I absolutely love if you're like bored with your wall you don't want to do the whole poster thing a gallery wall is a really good like change so frames are probably all from or not probably I know they are from home goods target target those up there are from world market and this frame is also from target so over here, I just have this um, Asian styled art with a koi fish and some lily pads. And then coming over here, this is one of those little like letter boards I got from Target, which today's quote, or should I say today's six month going on quote, is 8 billion people experienced, ta da, it should be today, in a different way. Um, I really love this quote. And it's just nice to look at when I get up. So, over here is Miss Stevie Nicks. You already know. I feel like I shouldn't have to tell you who that is. If you don't know who it is, look her up. You will fall in love. Over here, we've got Lainey, which is a little band, um, which was like L.A., New York. This is like um, an artwork that somebody did for their tour when they went to the Greek theater and the shrine. Now coming up here, that is a stock photo, or not a stock photo, but just like one of those like generic whatever photos from um, Tezza. And then this frame um, is sideways, which is actually a tree branch, which I'm sorry if I made you sick. I don't even know if that helped. Um, of a photo that I took, but I'm going to swap it out soon for a photo that's actually horizontal. Over here, we've got Bob Marley, and I just absolutely love this black and white photo of him. It's just, it's so amazing, it's so cool. And then over here is just a drawing of a woman sitting, and this came from um, TJ Maxx. Or not TJ Maxx, I'm sorry. <laughs> this came from Home Goods, and it like came like this. So the frame and the photo, I didn't change that at all. And then let's come back down here. Um, I've just got my Sonos. This thing is so great to play music off of. I absolutely love music and listen to it all day, every day. And this is just good sound quality. Then I've got this little faux plant from Michaels and a little glass vase to put in it, which came from Goodwill, actually. So, fun little thing. Then um, I have this sound bar which was gifted to me and now that I'm looking at it, it is quite dusty. So sorry about that. 
Over here, another faux little flower plant, which I just really love. It kind of gives me like some like Parisian summer kind of vibes, which, you know, we wouldn't want those vibes. Um, then I have a frame, came from probably Target, and it's just a little me and a caboose, or not a caboose, that's the back, um, in the front of the train, over here. I've just got a little um, palm reading kind of hand, a little crystal, a candle, which smells phenomenal when it's lit, and then a couple of room sprays, which these two I got from Target, and this one I got from Bath and Body Works. Down here is just my uh, TV stand, and then in it is um, PlayStation, Wii U, you know, just games. Lamp is from Target, which this actually, oh, this <sighs> lamp is from Target, which this globe I actually shattered and found a nice little replacement at Ikea. So that was cool. Um, this part is probably my second favorite little spot in my room. I don't know why, it just, everything just complements each other. So I like it. <laughs> Um, this is just a faux fern um, that I got from Michaels, most likely. And the little pot thing it's sitting in, I think I got from Home Goods. Uh, then it's just like some, you know, little personal photos. Um, James Dean movie, Star Wars movie, and then I've got like a Journey poster back there. And this is my homage to, um, you know, the Shire. And then on the top of my dresser, which actually, I don't even know if I mentioned that, but this is all on top of my dresser. Um, I have this plant, which I think I need to put more dirt in because it should be upright. And obviously it's not. <laughs> so we'll see if I can like fix that. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, then I just have this little tray with, um, you know, a little random jewelry pieces that I don't wear. I've got some rocks. You know, we got Fallen Our Stars and Paper Towns, which I was obsessed with. At, I think 15 I was when all that stuff came out. So yeah. And then I've got a little mister for my plants. I've got Taylor Swift's Wonderstruck, which I have held on to now for years and years. Um, I don't use it because I don't want it to eat my flesh off. Uh, <laughs> over here, We've got my little 